Oh, my sweet Dixie bird. Oh, I do wish with all my heart that I could believe you. Well, you can, you can. I meant everything I said. Oh, that's such a, a sweet tonic to my poor and beleaguered heart, even to think that you might be my friend. But alas, how can I be sure you won't go a squealing to them piggies? Oh, they do not favor Billy Clyde, you know. Oh, oh but, you know, that's exactly why I, I wouldn't tell them about you and me. You, you see? Oh, I, I don't see. Well, it's because they would never understand about my forgiving you. You know how I believe on this earth we're meant to be merciful and, and understanding. It's true. And, and, and I believe in order to get over the things in the past, one has to forgive. To forgive? It's divine. Yes, it is. And also, it's because I'm starting a new life with Ted. I think, you know, maybe that, that we need to uh, start, start over and, and resolve all our past differences. That is most admirable. Yeah. Well, so if we could just meet and talk in person, I would feel so much better. Oh, it would do so good to my poor heart. I will, I will do just as you ask, sweet Dixie Bird. I will come meet you. Well, let's see now. I'll meet you on the park bench just north of the tennis courts. Is the park safe? Oh, it's as safe as any park is. No, you're not to tell Tad about this now. Oh, no, of hmm? course not. Nor any of these oinkly, oinkly men of the law. No, no, no. I, I, I won't tell them. Of course, I'll come along, I promise. Thank you, darling. I do not need any extra grief. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this, Billy. I mean, it means so much to me to fix things between us. Oh, and so much to me, my dear heart. <laughs> well, I will see you in the park then in one hour. I shall be counting the minutes until later. Me too. Bye, Billy. Bye. One hour, come on. Let's go. Gotta get you uh, down to the station, Dix, get you wired up. Wait, wired? A homing device. I gotta mark every move you make. And Berniker, I gotta get uh, back up, cover that park with men. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't do that. We, if Billy sees all those people, we will be crazy if we yeah, have to. Listen, we're gonna nab him as soon as we see him. I'm not gonna take any chances. No before. chances, doll. You got guts. You got guts. Oh, wait a second. I gotta, I gotta get somebody to take care of Junior. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mrs. Martin. This is Dixie. Listen, I've got a big emergency over here. Can you come over and take care of Junior maybe for just a few hours? Of course, Daddy. I'll be right over. Great, thanks. Your mom is so terrific. Oh, boy. Ted, is that absolutely necessary? I'm not taking any chances. Always like someone's banging up. This is stupid. Where the hell is it? Cool it, cowboy. You cool it. He's already half an hour late. Punctual, I did not expect. Well, this is wrong. This smells funny. Okay, can I tell Dixie? You stay right where you are. Listen, this might be his trap. You ever stop to think about that? Got Weber on the bench. Hill, Newman with a vicious dog. The, co the place is surrounded with cops. Yeah. Yeah, that car we were watching. Just pulled away with two guys. So it's not our man? Uh, definitely not. All right, Roger on out, Ashford. Something came up. I'm afraid I can't be able to make it. I was counting on you. I'm, I mean, I really wanted to see you. 
I'll meet you there. I'll, I'll go and meet you there, okay? Oh, I think not, sweet Dixie Burton. Well, I really need to see you. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah. Just can't survive without seeing your old pal, Billy Clyde? Look, huh? any time, any place you want, I will meet you, all right? Wherever, whenever you want. <laughs> any time, any place I want. You're sounding mighty anxified, young lady. Well, it's just because uh, my wedding coming up, all right? I, I, I really want to get this over. I know what you want. I just want to be a friend. No, that is not what you want. That is not what you want. Yes, it is. Being my friend is the last thing on your mind. No, it's it's not, Billy. I just want to, I just want to see you. Who are those people down there with you? Are they not the police? Huh? Are they not? What? That man on the bench there, and that man with the pompadour walking that fancy pooch. This smacks to me of a trap. No, no, it, it's it's not. How can a friend it's, it's, it's like this to her friend? You call yourself my friend, you're not my friend. Well, let me tell you something, little lady. Nor am I your friend, nor do I ever wish to be your friend again. Look, you, know, you don't know what oh. you're talking about. This is, look, I just wanted, I just wanted to you. You want to catch me? Well, you shall not, you shall not, you shall not. Oh, God, Billy, look, just, just listen to me, all right? Just listen to me for just a second. Oh, how you displease me. Oh! Oh, how you displease me. I thought you'd done with your lying ways, but no, you're like everyone else. Your lies, your mendacity, your deceit will cause you to rot in hell. No, no, it's just... Uh, look, Billy, if you just listen to me for a second, I can explain this to you. No, that's huh? not it. Well, I'm gonna hang up now, girl. You'll not catch me, and I will see you in hell. Billy. Billy. What is it? What happened? I just ruined everything he knows, all right? He knows it was a trap, all right? I just ruined everything. And now it's just made things no. worse. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, I Weber, Newman. All right. All right. I think, he was, I think he was watching yeah. us somewhere, all right? He was mad. He was absolutely furious, all right? And now, now he's just going to make everything worse. No, it's okay. Listen know. to me. Listen to me, okay? We're going to catch him. I swear to you, we're going to catch him, son. This is terrible. Oh, you're telling me. Well, I can't imagine a man that insane not slipping up. I mean, not showing his hand. He never does, Ma. You two have got to rethink your wedding plans. Why? Well, a great big public wedding. When he can't even stand the idea of your being happy with another man. You mean just disappear? No, I mean keep a low profile. Slip out of town quietly. Get married someplace. Just the two of you, by yourself. Hello? Well, then slip away for a secret honeymoon. I mean... Billy would never even know that you were gone. Good looks, great cook, excellent plans, Mrs. Martin, excellent plans. Thank you. No, I won't do it. Dix, you'd be safe. No, I'm not going to let him ruin my life and my wedding. I'm not going to let him control my life that way. Well, he wouldn't, not if you listen to what your former future mother-in-law is telling you. Look, Trevor, this wedding has taken a long time in the making. I want my friends and my family around me, all right? I want to start this off right. That's what you want, Dix? Shh. We'll provide right. you the protection you need. Thank you. Just hope Billy Clyde doesn't make a mess. Listen, it's late, you know. It's been a really, really long day. Thank you so much for taking care of Jimmy. Oh, darling, of course, anytime you know that. <laughs> Let me take you to your car. Oh, thanks. Good night, you two. Thanks again, Ma. Oh. Good luck, huh? Yeah, I'm wild about blondes. What can I tell you? Dad. You... You agree with me, right? About the wedding? Yeah. Honey, I think whatever my gorgeousness wants, my gorgeousness gets. That's what I think. I love you. Mm, I love you too, likewise. But you're right, it is late and it has been a long day, so I think I'm going to run upstairs and slip into my jammies. <laughs> you go right ahead. Yeah, don't you be long, okay? Oh, well, my goodness, there's a man upstairs waiting for me in his jammies. How can I resist? I love you. I love you. Quick. Go. Good night. For your land ways, 
I will see you rot in hell. Go to bed, Daisy. 